Today we're starting things off with a patio progress update. It's coming along really well. I'm super happy with it. Kubo seems pleased with it, although he's yet to go to the toilet on it. So that means that I don't know if he trusts it quite just yet, but it's looking really, really nice. They're putting the finishing touches on it today, which means that I'm still in the Airbnb bootleg recording setup. I have an oven behind me. I'm on a dining table. I'm sat in a dining chair. I've got my mouse on a placemat. And yeah, I mean, it's it's about as bootleg as it comes. And I must admit, I am quite excited to be back in my regular office tomorrow. However, I am not excited for having to dismantle this entire setup and carry it up the street. You see, there's no parking outside this Airbnb, so I have to carry my absolute bus, my absolute train of a computer. It's huge. All right, I have to carry that thing up the street. It's going to be a workout and a half. What on earth has happened here? Whoa, 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 Iscal, whoa, hold up, that almost killed me. There's a, a, there's a huge hole in the bedrock, there's a, all the bedrock's gone, Impulse must have done, this must have taken ages. This is wild, but more importantly, Iscal, how am I meant, how am I meant to get to my industrial district now? I haven't got a portal yet, I've been, I've been robbing yours, and now you've blown yours up. How am I meant to get there? Also, what's all this for? There's no way... Surely you didn't just do this so you could put some minecarts in and just create a big old hole. I mean, I, you know, I'm all for pointless silly projects, but this seems like a lot of effort for a pointless silly project. I don't know what to say, I'm weirdly proud, but also just miffed, which is British for discombobulated, which is even more British for just being generally puzzled, which is another British term for being slightly baffled. I'm confused, okay, I'm, I'm just confused. And the confusion continues because I can see... There is something in my industrial district. What on earth is this? Dear Mumbo, do it. P.S. If you meet, if you need more slime, visit the Omega store. Has he? <laughs> Wait, how much slime is that? So that is. Yeah, do I really think I'm going to do the mental maths right now? Lots of playing with abacuses later. One thousand seven hundred twenty-eight slime blocks. Now that is a lot of slime blocks, but. It's, I mean, it would take 16,000 to cover this entire place. That's, that's like nine more of those shulker boxes. So as much as I really, really appreciate the gift and I will make good use of the slime blocks, I don't think I'll be buying that many more slime blocks. <laughs> like, I want to be the richest hermit. And that involves not spending all my diamonds on slime. But it has made me realise that maybe after we're done with the melon farm, we should probably build up some form of industrial slime farm as it seems like it will be handy. Anyway, melon farm. We need to get the items out of this thing using redstone and systems. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do just yet. See, the problem is we have a bunch of droppers next to one another and that's kind of difficult for redstone circuits, but I wonder, would this work? I am a genius. I am an even greater genius. This is... Oh, no. Yes. Genius and modest and handsome. Oh dear. Looks like I've been demoted to just being modest and handsome. This doesn't quite work because the observer powers the block, which powers the powered rail, and that's going to send our minecarts off before they've fully unloaded all their items. Okay, I think we can work around it. And work around it we have. So we now have a full set of item dropper systems that will be sending our items out into this water stream here. Now, I actually have to... How am I going to connect this in? Should I just run it straight into the back of the sugarcane one? I mean, that doesn't seem like a bad move. Does this item transportation system that I've created actually work? If I put items in here, is there a chance that any are going to get stuck underneath that slab? I mean, it's all looking good so far. I just want to make sure that I don't break this farm in the process of trying to hook up this one. But it looks like it's working. And this side is now all fully hooked up. So, all right. I think we could be ready to actually build up the infrastructure for these flying machines. All I need to do is create a system that sends them off, sends off the mine carts, and then also returns them and sends off the mine carts again. The thing that I love most about redstone is that you can say things that make it sound like you're doing something a lot more complicated than it actually is. How did he do that? What's he- Exuma? Eat man! I mean, I know all of us are trying to shed those extra quarantine pounds that we put on, but he's taking it a little bit far there. I really, really wish there was a way for me to back up the Hermitcraft server so that I could activate this thing without risk. Because <laughs> I'm genuinely terrified right now. If this breaks, the flying machines are going to break, all of these slabs that I placed are going to be mismatched, and it's just going to be... 
I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry a lot. There's gonna be a lot of tears. Genuinely, you will just hear me weeping. Absolutely weeping. I'll be up to my socks in in tear water. What's it called? Tear? What's it? What's it called? Tear, what's tear water called? Peeper juice. I'm gonna call it peeper juice for the time being until I come up with a better word. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna be very upset. But I guess there's no point in waiting around. I'm gonna try and do anything I can to put this off. Ah. Uh, Go for it. Okay, this is good. That is exactly what we want to happen. Oh, and it's satisfying. It's so satisfying. <laughs> I absolutely love machines like this. I really, really do. I'm curious to see what happens at the end. Here it comes. Oh, I've managed to place them in the wrong place. Okay, well that's... As far as breakages go, that's the best possible breakage. And now that it's all fixed, we have ourselves a fully functional melon and pumpkin farm. Nice. This thing's ready to rock and roll. And we will get it rocking and rolling a little bit later on in the episode. There's a few other jobs that I want to do first. Job number one is to move out of this Airbnb and go back home and check out the work of art that is my new patio. Absolutely stunning, that is. Absolutely stunning. And with that out of the way, We've got some serious work to do. The I B B B B B B B B B I B I. I think that's it. Was it I B B B B B B B B B I B I or is it I B B B B B B B B B I? No, that's the same thing. I B B B B B B I B I. I think it's that. In between bases, base built by Bumbo Baggins but inspired by Iskal. Yeah, I B B B B B B I B I. Yeah, it's done us well. Okay, it's been great. But now it's time to just build the the B B the B B the big base. Basically, we need to build the big base. All right, and that involves. Clear out quite a bit of space because, you know, we can't, we're not going to be using this area because this is going to be for the living parts of our base and we're not going to be using this area here, at least we're going to use a little bit of this gap just to get down into it, but my actual storage system and where all of my chests are going to be going is down underneath in this area, so that means the I -B 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 IBI has to go and also quite a lot of the blocks around it. This is going to be quite a monstrous mining, mining session here, so you know what that means. I mean, am I really going to do a psychedelic chirp montage again? We did we did one in the last episode. Am I going to do it again? Yes. Yes, of course I am. What a stupid question. What kind of stupid person asked that stupid question? Yes, I'm going to do a chirp montage. If I could do two in one episode, I would. I could do two in one episode. Nobody's telling me not to. I can make a whole episode as, as chirp. Uh, okay, fine. We'll stick with one for now. Well, that, as always, was weird, but it was hugely productive. I mean, look at this place that we have underneath here. This is... we have got a lot of room for activity here. We have got a lot of space. Now, you might notice that this area here is a tiny bit smaller, and that's because this storage system is kind of going to be like a tiered storage system. There's going to be different areas for different types of items, and there's also going to be different sorting systems for each of the different types of items. That might sound strange, okay? And it, it does sound strange. It's not something that I've ever really done before. So now I've got to test it out. Goodness me, my base is now difficult to navigate. Right, I need wood bits. Ugh. Yes, I'm a parkour master and a genius and modest and handsome. My list of attributes is getting longer and longer by the second. I'm also the owner of a nice new patio and air conditioning, so I've really got a lot of things going for me at the minute. Now I'm going to work on the designing of that thing in a second. But first, there's something very important that I really need to address, and it involves me flying over towards Grian's mansion. You see, been reading a lot of comments about him being a part of Hermit Challenges, and 
I mean, yeah. I don't... Hold the phone. I feel like I've been a bit of a bad friend. You see, you know, we gave him the challenge of stealing the doors, and that was an ongoing challenge. Okay, so th he could have just stuck with one challenge for the rest of the season. And who knows, he might still want to do that. But he has got a lot of challenges burn sticks right here. And the rules of Hermit Challenges do state that if you want to be challenged in Hermit Challenges, then you have to place down burn sticks. And he has... He has a lot of burn... How many, how many burn sticks does he have? What I'm going to do is I'm going to be polite, okay? And I'm just going to ask him, is this burn stick? And I'm going to do that on each and every one of his burn sticks, just so he really gets the message. And hopefully he replies, and then maybe we can get him back into Hermit Challenges. He might be the first person who hasn't been surprised into a Hermit Challenge. He might be like the first person that's actually been requested and politely asked. Which is quite a nice thing. Clearly, as an organisation, we're growing. We're growing as people, you know? Apart from when it comes to interacting with this gal, I'm always just going to surprise him with things. <laughs> In fact, at this point, I think it would be more surprising and more horrifying to his gal if I requested if I politely requested if he wanted to do hermit challenges, I might actually do that. So I've placed signs on each one of his chimneys. They're actually outside the render distance here, but you can see, yeah, they're all in place. But I have just remembered, he's got the barge, doesn't he? He's, he's got the barge, and I think that's made entirely out of him. Wow! Diamonds in the trees! <laughs> Scar's putting diamonds in the trees! <laughs> that's... Uh... Oh, I don't, that's just that's the best thing I've ever seen. First it was small mushrooms, and now it's this. Now it's this. Somehow I managed to calm myself down, and I've brought my voice back to its manly level. And in the process of doing that, I've filled Grian's barge with signs asking if these are in fact burn sticks. As I say, he's more than welcome to turn around and say no, they're not burn sticks. It's just the floor of my barge. Go away. But I, you know, I'd like to see him back in Hermit Challenges at some point. Ah, I still can't get over the small mushrooms and the diamonds in the trees. Right, having goofed around for long enough, let's get on with some hard designing. I want to have a three-tiered sorting system. So this is for one of the wings of my sorting system for the items that I don't really need that often, but I still want sorted. I don't want them ending up in a junk chest. I want them sorted. I want them to be organized, but I want them in like a compact space. And that is tough because I want to do it also in like a smart fashion. I've come up with something interesting here though. It doesn't work, it, it totally doesn't work, but it's interesting and maybe we might be able to fiddle around with it a bit. Mm, starting to lose hope a little bit. So this design almost worked, but it's just a tiny bit too slow. And also I can't put enough items in this hopper right here. So if it overflowed, it would just break the entire system. Back to the drawing board again. That is so close. That is so close, but this block obviously powers this redstone. Ah, I thought I had it. An extremely, extremely long time later, I've actually pulled it off. It's such a strange system. It's by far the weirdest system. But I'm hoping... I mean, look at this. Look, we've got droppers being depowered. Yep, that works. That actually works. If I put an item... Yes, it actually works. I've got a dropper being powered and then a hopper being locked. Loads of comp It's the most expensive sorter in the world. But it does actually stack on top of one another. And we have the ice streams where the waters travel. And just to quickly explain for anyone confused, the items will kind of scoot in this gap right here on both this block and also this block at the same time. So they can be pushed by water on this block, but also they can be picked up by the hoppers. The reason I'm doing that is because it's faster than just running items through hoppers. And also the reason I'm not running the water over the top of the hoppers is because occasionally items can get stuck and that's really not good. So this is all good. This works, this actually works. A bit of a feat of engineering here, but it's huge. So back to the drawing board a bit. I'm going to see if I can make it taller. I'm going to see if I can make it a little bit taller, give us a little bit more wiggle room. A lot of hours have been put into this, by the way. I hope you appreciate that. I'm really trying my best here. I've managed to create another design that is a little bit more slanted than the other, but it is a tiny bit more compact, so that's good. I'm still not satisfied, though, I'm going to be honest. I think this is the way forward. This is the one. I'm happy with this one. It's the simplest, it's the cheapest, it's the shortest by about three blocks. It's two blocks taller than the other ones, but I don't think that's a big deal. Yeah, this is what we're going for. Now let's get the ball rolling on the Hermitcraft server. And you know what? Every single season of Hermitcraft I've ever done, I've always had tunnels. Not necessarily tunnels, I, I don't know what you'd call them, but kind of strips. 
In fact, almost all of my storage systems tend to fall in this sort of cross pattern. And as I was stood on top of this beacon here, I kind of had an epiphany. I have enough chests vertically here that we can actually cover pretty much all the items in Minecraft in almost a big square fashion. So if I ran across like this, let me do some math here. These segments are 25 blocks wide. There's three rows, which means we'd have 75 items per branch or per section of this giant room. And I would have three sections for these types of chests. So that is 225 unique items all sorted into the chests plus the multi-item sorter that is going to be in this area here that's going to make use of shulker boxes and regular chests and all of my most used items. I mean, that seems like enough, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. That seems like more than enough storage. i got to say, just this slight difference, this slight change of plan has gotten me even more excited than I was before. Like, I love building sorting systems because I'm a huge nerd. But now that, we, now that we're doing something slightly different, I'm even more excited. And I'm hopefully not going to die. That was, that was actually embarrassing. But I've redeemed myself. Yes. John Wick in the building. You know what's funny? There's people watching this. And they're just wondering why I celebrate such average bow shots. Like, in the grand scheme of things, that was a very average bow shot. But I get overly excited about them. Oh, goodness. That is... This is a lot of chests. <laughs> I was still slightly worried that it wasn't going to be enough storage. Yes, it's enough storage. I'm honestly not sure whether to go for a modern style on the inside of here, like the futuristic style, or whether to stick classic. Let me know down in the comment section. I genuinely would like your help on that one. Your input would be extremely valuable. And obviously, all of this stuff is just temporary. It's just so I can get a feel for what this build is actually going to look like once it's done. And I think the feel I'm going to get is... This looks completely wild. <laughs> <laughs> epic this is gonna look so cool when we have like a full room three sides of this are you crazy <laughs> oh that's too many items really i mean I, nobody needs this much storage i've actually gotten i've gotten along fine with my ibbbbbbibi why am i going this far because me and because hermitcraft me and hermitcraft commingling doing our bits Things like this happen. You know, I was totally planning on leaving the chests like that and just planting some melons, but I can't help myself. I'm just going to go off. I'm going to spend all my diamonds at the wood store. I just want to get that filled in. I want to get all the chests in place. By the way, this spot right here might just be one of my favorite views of the base, and I think it will be better once I finally terraform all of this. There's still so much to do. So much to do. Why do I keep starting new projects when I haven't actually finished the previous ones? That's a real problem I've got. Is there anything worse than running out of things on the last block? The, the last ones. I mean, look how many chests there are here. There were so many opportunities for me to run out of chests. And no, is this one it? That's ridiculous. It has been a very expensive day on the Hermitcraft server. This is all me. This is, this is all me. And I still don't have a profitable shop. There we go. That's it. Finally done. Nuts. Okay, so we've got ourselves one full storage system kind of laid out. And now I'm just thinking in my head, what is the plan in terms of designs? I actually like the idea of these corners being here because you have a lot of freedom there. You see, where, where we were originally going to do the cross pattern, you have no room for expansion apart from at the ends of the crosses. Whereas with a system like this, we could actually have a doorway here and here and like an arch. We can almost create like an arch that then goes into the next area of the base. And I'm thinking massive super smelter. Like we could run a line of furnaces all the way around the back of this thing. I mean, we have the space to do it. We could have a line of furnaces that would be like, that, that would be like hundreds of furnaces long. And that would be a ridiculously powerful and fast super smelter. Oh, I mean, that has to be done. Yeah, I mean, what if we use the extra space that we have behind some of these sorting systems for just more technical builds and useful things like potion brewing stations and yeah, the super smelter 100%. This is cool. This is cool. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I've had a lot of fun today. This has been a fun Hermitcraft episode. We've done a variety of things. We've goofed. We've gaffed. And we've done some building. It's been a good one. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next one. See ya. And it has been a long day. 
now that the episode is finished, I've just realised how tired I am. I hope this the end of this episode isn't just like a garbled mess. Because I woke up ridiculously early this morning, went to my Airbnb, recorded half a day there, moved my entire setup back into my office, recorded the other half of the day here. It's now half twelve at night. I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs>